A is Space Cadets, Tin Poning here. I'm gonna burn on out of here because two times I tried starting this video and the police came and blowed me up for carrying contraband. So I get out of there out of their beat. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I've got, if I go into Shift P, that's property owned, Albion Skunk Details, and open all of these. I've got, I just, I bought an inertial hammer and spent all my coin on it. So I'm I'm pretty much broke right now. I, I would like a better engine and better shield and better scanner. But to get those I need I need some credits. And the best way I can think of to get some credits is to open my main menu, my in game menu, and I believe that default is enter. If you don't know, um, you can do escape, come down to settings, controls, and general controls. This is where you can remap them also. Um, main menu is the in-game menu. I set mine to G. So when I say I'm going to open my sidebar or I'm going to press G, it means to open my main menu. Okay, so I'm going to open my main menu, my sidebar menu, and I'm going to go down to missions, and I'm going to look at the bulletin board. Click on that. Um, we do have a passenger transport, so I'll go to briefing. And I'm going to accept. Now this is timed, so um, there's another one in here that's worth considerably more. And I'm going to go to briefing. Yes, you can do in your sleep. yes and I probably will. And Great. I'm going to accept that on. one. Now, if I go to G or open my side menu and I look at active missions one of them is a, tra a passenger transport I should have taken that one second because the timer is running I'm going to set that to current and now my yellow arrow is pointing at where that begins. That's the waypoint right there is where I started from. So I'm going to tab on down here again and I hope the cops don't catch me. So I'm going to highlight that, do a shift D to dock. Approved. Glad you could visit us. Keep out of trouble. And my waypoint is the person I need to pick up. Three and a half minutes. I'm going to click on her. Please come aboard. That's her boarding the Albion Skunk. How does your co-pilot cope with the smell of sweaty male clothing back here? That's her sweaty male clothing. From all the guys she has on ship when I'm not there. Okay, so I'm going to go to leave platform, and that will take me straight into the cockpit. And the next waypoint should be either her delivery point or somewhere along the way. Okay, I'm going to tab over here. She's just going to the space bar. She's leaving one space bar and going to the next. She's space bar hopping. I'll click on that. I'll do a shift D to dock. Welcome aboard. 
and this is her disembarking so I'm just gonna turn around and use the door switch it's right here and I have another I have another mission to do for considerably more money Shift A, and I'm going to go into active missions, yes, and this, this is the one I want to go to, this is uh, set to current, and it has guidance on it, so I'm all good to go. Now, we're going to fly all the way to the end of this highway, and I know that because it says fly to Rexville instead of leave highway in so many kilometers. And I'll know when I'm getting close because this progress bar will come right down to zero when we get to Rexville. Okay. Now, they want me to fly 91 kilometers to get there. I'm going to go to my map, key V, which shows the sector. It shows me where I am here and where I'm headed to. Now, this highway goes all the way over there and will get me there faster than I can fly there so I'm gonna jump back on this highway instead of following this waypoint marker let's find that highway again They steal the highway. No, it's over here. Station information added to ship computer database. And this is it right here. Azure barrier is a stop along the way. So I'm going to shift A and boost over to it. going to get off here with backspace. Entering smoke stack. Okay. And that was perfect timing because that's the minefield they want me to clear out. And I'm going to head on over there with a tab instead of autopilot because I want to come at it sideways to get the uh, Get the sun out of my eyes. I didn't bring my sunglasses. Okay. Now, this is mines, and what's going to happen is if, if I get within weapon range of them, speaking of which, I'm going to change my weapon with N and N again to bring up my inertial hammer. Um, when we get close to these mines, they will lock onto us and start coming towards us. Now this one with the dotted lines is the first one I'm going to target. And I don't have to click on them, but 
I will. Okay, and as I get within a couple, okay, one kilometer. Now I'm going to reverse this and shoot it because it's following me. So is this one. Okay. Now the next one, if you look at the top of the screen here, is three kilometers away. When something is out of your field of view, it'll show up on the edge of your windshield. So I'll come after this one until it starts moving. And it's moving. So I'm going to back up and shoot it. And the next one, I can look at this yellow arrow or I can see it here. If I click on it, now it's targeted. I'll move back in. And as soon as I get within a couple kilometers. Okay, it's locked on us. I'm going to back up and shoot it. And I'm shooting with my right mouse button where my cursor, where my mouse cursor is. Um, because that's just easier for me. This is the next one. And it's coming after us, so we'll destroy it. Here's the next one. It's three kilometers away. And it's moving toward me, so I'll fire on it. And just follow that yellow arrow. Here's the next target. It's five or six kilometers away. Five. I wish there was a way to make those make the text in this bigger. Without losing resolution. Here it comes. So I'm going to back up, shoot it, and there's one more over this way. I'll head towards it. I say one more because I don't see any any indicators around the windshield here. I'll target it. And once it's within range, I'm just going to give it a wet fur. You did indeed strike me as reliable. Okay. Received 412,000 credits. Cool. And this shows my new balance is over half a million credits. So, coming back to this station, I'm going to see if I can find another... another mission on the bulletin board to make more credits so I can upgrade my engines and weapons and shields and scanners and software. So I'll go back to the bulletin board. There's a destroy for ooh one and a half million. Let's see what that's all about. You do a good line and patter, but these are what count here. Oh. That's an attack. I'm going to decline. Um. There. Look at this. This is a think mission, and it's very hard, especially for me. Um, deliver uh, these shortages and such. Um, they all require uh, transport ships, so I'm not going to get into those. Um, 
there we go. Ships traveling by an asteroid field, 675. That's almost 700,000. Are you positive you can do this? Okay, these asteroids are destroying ships. Some of them have been rigged with explosives and need someone to destroy them or detonate them from a distance before there's more disruption. And I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Um, okay, so that should be our... Um, it should be, so I'm going to check active missions yes that's it that's one I want highlighted and that will and it's set to current so that will give me the waypoints to get there if I highlight this shift A and boost over to it We're flying all the way to the end of this one. It will terminate in Dominant Bear. Okay, we got knocked out of it, so I'll fly back into it, highlight it, hit Shift A. We're awful close to it. And there we are. Okay, that's where those rigged asteroids are. So I'm going to just boost on out there a bit. And again, I'm going to come around at them sideways to get the sun out of my eyes. Now these asteroids won't chase us, I hope, and I've got the closest one up here. Now I am going to stop and I'm going to change to my mining laser to do the asteroids. I'll do N, N again, and there's my mining laser. Okay. And I think if I fly through this with my cargo magnet on, yes. Okay, picked up some some goodies and containers out here. A cargo magnet for me, it's Q. Um, I already showed you how to how to see what your settings are, how to change your settings. Okay, I'm a little out of range, so I'm going to sneak up on it. Sneak up on this asteroid. And hit my cargo magnet to draw in these cases. And following the yellow arrow again. Head on over here. That's three kilometers away too. And this one's two. Cargo magnet. next one is okay it's down here I can see it on on the edge of my windshield oops it blew up I got too close to it so I'm gonna stop 
this one's next. And this one's next. I'm going to turn on my cargo magnet. And this is stuff that I could use for crafting or sell. Sell to the traders. Closer. Okay, next one is seven kilometers away, so. over towards it a little bit get within a couple kilometers and blow it up collect any goodies in it we've got one up here that's at four kilometers collect its goodies Almost 700,000 off of that one. So I'm going to tab on back towards the highway and if there's a station around here. Oh, this is Dormant Bear. This is where we started. It's kind of limited what we'll find here, but we'll look at the bulletin board. Protect, patrol, escort, deliver, protect. Nope. Nothing that interests me. So, I'm going to go into V. 
and let's see let's go down here I'm gonna plot course and now my waypoints will take me to shift A will take me to the uh, zone that I highlighted on my map and I open that map with V tab over to the highway here and let it do the flying now you notice when we're on the highway autopilot disengages it, we pretty much follow the highway unless something runs into us and now I've got, got a counter here so I am hitting the end and leave the highway with backspace I'll open my main menu again, go into the bulletin board. Yeah, there's nothing there I, I want to do. Um, but because this video is about upgrading, I am going to open my side menu. I'm going to go to open com link ship services and mechanic mechanic is where we buy and get installed our upgrades and i'm just picking one at random calm how can i find you okay and that becomes our waypoint which is indicated by the yellow arrow And it looks like he's hanging out in the crowbar, or in the space bar. Station information added to ship computer database. Station information added to ship computer database. Okay. And this is where we want to go. Added to ship computer database. There. No, shut up, Betty. Now we're within range. Oh, let Betty talk. Click on that, shift D. This is D. the Albion Skunk, requesting permission to dock. Permission to dock. We look forward to seeing you. Welcome aboard. Okay. Double tap and hold W. And I'll run. Okay. We're going to have to go through here to get to her. Looks like she's in the bar. So we talk to her. Oh, him. And click trade. Show me your I want to buy engines. Now I can afford those engines, the Mark III. Oh, I want a Sidewinder though. That's the engines I want. So I'm going to buy those. It's going to take most of my money, but okay. And then I'll go back. Show me your shields. Want to buy please. shields. Top quality at best prices. Or I'm at now I can't buy that. You see how it's grayed out here. I can get the Mark II. Um, Show me I want to buy weapons. Now I can't, I can't buy an upgrade to the Mark One. I, I need uh, it's an item that is collected to upgrade this weapon. So I'll go back. I want to buy Show scanners. scanners please. Oh, I can buy the police scanner. Okay, I will buy the police scanner. Slide this over to one. 
OK. And go back. Can I buy software? No, I don't even have enough for the economy software. And there are trading. Oh, I can't get a Mark One tra uh, targeting system. And if you want to know what these are, the the page over here to the left of the name, you can click on one of those. don't necessarily want that. I do want this one because it does surface elements. Okay, so that one I do... Hold on a second here. I'll do Shift V. Music is driving me nuts. But that's the only software I can buy. Um, and I'm going to hold off on that. Buy scanners. Okay, I have a police scanner installed. I'm going to keep that. Um, weapons, I have my inertial hammer. Buy shields. Can I buy shields anymore? No. And the behemoth shields are the only ones that I'm interested in. So I'm back down to almost nothing. And I'm going to go back in and see if there's on the bulletin board another mission that I would like to do. And if there isn't, I'll just move on to the next system and look at their bulletin board. But that's how I get money to, or how I get credits to find a mechanic and get the Alveon Skunk outfitted with proper weapons, scanners, software, shields, and engines. So, that's it for this video. This is Tin Pony. Thanks for watching.